Bonjourno, my name's Nick. And I'm Corey, and today we're watching your favorite movie. White Chicks. It's a movie about... Stuff from the 2000s. Uh, it's, I was gonna say it's a movie about white chicks, but it's literally the opposite of that. Yeah. It's about two African-American FBI agents posing as white girls to protect the super rich sisters from drug kingpins. It's just like, if you guys have seen the old scary movies from the 2000s, this, this humor is extremely 2000s on the nose. This is 04. This is when peak comedy was offensive as hell. I think for people that don't realize this, it's before social media. Just, yeah. Just, just let that be something to sink in. Yeah. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take shots. Every time this movie is- Messed up, honestly. Racial 2000s comedy, offensive to I, some people. Anything that makes us go, bruh. Anything that you probably can't tweet about today without getting hated on. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys wanna see the full uncut, uncensored version of this and support us, then check out the link in the description, nickandcory.com slash Patreon, except flip that. Patreon.com slash Nick and Corey. <laughs> it's free, except for the $5 you gotta pay. Or 10 if you really, really love us. Like, Or more if you really just wanna throw your money away. It's, it's honestly getting burnt regardless. It goes but into a good place. Yeah, we, we, we appreciate it. Um, we appreciate you burning your money for us. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks to our sponsor for today's video, Aura. Are you tired of receiving spam phone calls to the point where you don't even answer your phone anymore because it's so annoying? I know I am. Data brokers are making a fortune selling your information to these spam callers, even stuff like where you live. Aura can identify data brokers using your information and submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Do you know that data brokers are legally required to move your information if you ask them to? But they make it really hard to do. So why not let Aura do it for you? It's really easy to set up, so you don't have to download several different apps to get things like antivirus, VPN, password management, identity theft insurance, parental controls, and more. You get everything at one affordable price. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online, and you can keep focusing on doing whatever you need to do to stay alive in 2023, because it's rough out there. You can either let people continue to exploit and profit off your private information, like some internet pimp, or you could go to Aura.com slash Nick and Corey to start your two week free trial. Click the link in the description below. Now back to the video. Oh, I like how the logo had the two black guys in it. I didn't even notice that. Where's this New York? Uh, it looks like it. But Is it in New York or LA? Everything still has an old, like, rectangular feel to it. A rectangular feel? Yeah, like all the cars are boxy. All the hair is tall. Wait, is this? I feel like this is two portrayals of cultures just as the most obvious type. Oh, wow. This, this is oh the, my God. This is just two stereotype cultures back to back. <laughs> Okay. We got the gangsters wearing the Kremlita shirt. Shout out to Russian gangsters and... What, what would you, what are they trying to be? Uh, what form of Hispanic? I don't even Some know. Some South American Hispanic. Vanilla, that's what you ordered. Vanilla ice cream from cocaine? Mmm. <laughs> Bring in that star. Um, you can tell the thug is a really good actor. <laughs> There's your ice cream. I can normally pick up on Spanish, but I have no fucking clue what he's saying. Yeah, you're under arrest. He's gonna run. No, he ain't. You owe me a dollar. A dollar? I, dude, you know, okay. Inflation is hit. Instant thing, inflation has hit. I always appreciate when a movie just gets into it. They skip all the bullshit exposition. They didn't skip the bull. They, they did the whole bit for a while. It was that like was an like SNL two skit. Minutes. Now I'm gonna bust your ass. <laughs> Let me genuinely toss you on this counter. Can I ring up this FBI agent real quick? Why don't you ring up these nuts, buddy? You had a gun the whole time. Dude. See, you can tell this is 2000s because he had a gun the entire time and didn't pull it out until three minutes into this fight. You know, they just want to f around a little, but okay, look at the guy being choked. I know, I saw his face. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> the grip is like down here, and he's like, <gasps> You're not supposed to pause these movies, that's a lie. <laughs> it's so fucking silly, dude. 400 keys. <laughs> <laughs> is it ice cream? Vanilla ice cream? 
It actually was ice cream. Hey, where's the drug? I know nothing about drugs. What then? Why was he happy to go? The money is ice cream delivery is here. Never mind. Never mind. Wrong store. <laughs> oh, they have guns. So the original guys were just out of work Russians looking I, for. Were they American a decoy dream. or were they actually American dream chasers? I don't. Usually, if you're gonna bust someone, you have proof. The guy went to take the briefcase, and I guess he just. Ran. I guess you can be an honest big Russian man. Here's dinner. Get just fucked. Rice. Ooh. She looks happy. I can't believe you had me sitting here all night worried about you. I'm still with the ice cream man, baby. After work, me and Kevin, we went down to the bar. We just had a couple of drinks. I know. I called the bar. This is back Damn, in the she day. has everyone's contact. That's because back in the day, when you didn't have a smartphone, and you couldn't get a hold of someone, you called everybody else around you. Get the yellow pages out? Yeah, you had to. MapQuest said it takes six MapQuest. MapQuest? Oh my god! That doesn't exist anymore. Okay, I'm taking a shot to MapQuest and Yellow Pages. Don't you think I need more than two minutes? Ooh. Oh, he that was subtle. He walked into that one. It wasn't that subtle. That was subtle. It was not subtle. See, that is exactly what I'm talking about. What are we taking a shot to? MapQuest or Dick Jokes? MapQuest and Dick Jokes. You want to communicate? Yes. An heiress is to the Wilson fortune. We believe they are the kidnappers' next victim. This is like those two girls from, um, uh, what's that Christian YouTube channel that Cody Code made fun of? Oh, I don't remember the name of it, but uh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Hello, ladies. Today we're going to be talking about how you can save yourself from Jesus Christ. It starts with closing your legs and praying to God. Except these girls are the opposite. It's like, okay, ladies, today we're going to talk about how you can open yourself up to a guy named Jesus, not <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that was good, Cody. That was good. What? Two blonde, like, like rich, dumb girls. Are you saying all blonde, rich, dumb girls are Paris Hilton? I want to be out on the street where the action is. What did you join the FBI to do? I feel like after a few years, if you're in the FBI, you're like, all right, I'll take the nanny job. <laughs> you get paid like, I, back then, you probably got paid 30000 a year to get shot at. Do you think the FBI makes shit? I thought they get paid really well. Maybe I have no shot. idea. I think anything. After you get shot? Yeah, I think. Your I think bonus kicks guys. in after eating bullets? If Hollywood has taught me anything is that most FBI agents or like CIA agents get paid dog shit. Hi, I'm Kevin Copeland. We already gave to the United Nations Fund. Okay. Oh my <laughs> god. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Is that that was not subtle. Is that even a thing? Okay, double shot. What's the second shot for? Because as soon as they're like, oh, you're not from the United Negro Fund, they're like, oh, here you go and just take our bags. Take our yeah. Shot to just bitch made. Shot to racism. Mm -hmm. You guys sure got a lot of bags for a weekend. <laughs> this isn't. <laughs> Snorts cocaine. <laughs> this is a weekend, buddy. Uh, open the window. The baby likes a little fresh breeze. The dog's gonna jump out. He opened it a little bit too much. Why'd they scream? I love the green screen. Yeah. It's so obvious. The dog is like head on the right side of the road. What FBI training did they go through for this? Man, just you like the dog in. It weighs like a half a pound. Yeah, it's not. Why is the truck driving in the this middle of both lanes? so lights? cheesy. The dog went flying the dog anyways. Got Yeeted. You think we're gonna go to the Hamptons with my face looking like that? My face like that! Put some makeup and cover it up. Put makeup. I appreciate how much the actors are really going all out for it. I am so freaking pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I am so freaking pissed. My brow's done, and I told her to make me look like JLo, and then that freaking Russian toad made me look like. Lyra That's you. Kelly or Russian toad. Is that a shot? Is Who's that a Russian shot for, for stereotyping? Yeah, that's it. I'm offended. Do you find offense in Russian toad? I'm I'm triggered being called a Russian toad. I find joy in the comment, but I, <laughs> that's just me. <laughs> Rib it. They won't go. Marcus, this weekend in the Hamptons means everything for these girls. Okay. And the plan is born. I don't think it is yet. I think right now he's just gonna kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> 
As I said, the plan. Kill myself before the chief. <laughs> the plan is born. Shot to a comedy that probably can't be in shows now. Hey, what's up, chief? Why do you say it like that? Chief. That's, that's, the, that's the way you talk to someone when you're like, I don't want to talk to you right now. To little KMS. Where are the white women at? Let's do this. The plan is born here. What is this for? Oh, this is the standard transformation. Oh, they're just, somehow they're dinking like their faces. Do you, I like how they're just going like this. I like how they kind of skip through the whole reason for the plot. Like in other movies, they try to come up with a dumbass reason. Like, wait, what are we gonna do? We have to figure out a way to make them go. Oh, I know. What if we were each other? What if we pretended to be them? I just shot to the uh, white Taj. Here come two six three. Here come two WNBA players. <laughs> oh my God. Jesus Christ. They look like Chernobyl had an accident here. <laughs> is none of this CGI? This is all prosthetic. What, what part of it makes you think it'd be CGI? I don't know. It's actually impressive prosthetic. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, money? You got a problem? What you looking at my ass for? Uh, cat calling shot. Whatever the f this is shot. I feel like back in the day when people weren't called out like for getting for cat calling, they just said the stupidest things. It didn't make any sense at all. Just like, hey, hey, oh baby, you got some bath water? Mm -hmm. <laughs> baby, you you spitting towards the east when the sun's rising? Cause I like that. Mm. You are in big trouble. Oh, is this is this what Karens used to do? Before it was appropriate to yell at people in public, they just wrote letters. Uh, Dear Mr. Royal, uh, I am a white woman. Uh, <laughs> is this on the nose at all? That, that's a shot. If you read, if you start off your Karen note by saying I am a white woman. <laughs> that is a shot, true. I want to know if any Karens nowadays actually have said that. Opening with the strongest it's, line. It's absolutely implied. Excuse me, I'm a white woman. All the Karens today are absolutely implying it, but that's no one's said That's part of the title. It. Yeah. Chocolate man. Oh, that's what that line is from. Shot. Okay. What a beautiful chocolate man. Oh, that was close. Yeah. Ah! Ah! No. What are we gonna do? That's the, uh, if you didn't know, that's the white woman meeting call. <laughs> what, screaming? Ah! <laughs> the one girl in the middle looks like she's about to pass out. Oh, what big claws you have. Is this to a chocolate man? Yes. What a beautiful chocolate man. I like that canonically the girls are impeccably stupid, so it fits for them to ask who their friends are. Yeah. My name is Brittany Wilson, of course. Yeah. Was he trying to flirt? Yeah, he was. Yo, my name is. Oh. Yeah, my name is Brittany Wilson. Are they supposed Yo, to be this world's name, like Brittany? Huh? Are they supposed to be this world's Olsen twins or something? I told you they're supposed to be like the, the Paris Hilton. You might want to slow down on the cheese. You mean there's. Cheese as in dairy? Cheese? Move! <laughs> Shot! Shot! <laughs> Explosive diarrhea. And then, you think, you think the loud ass noise is gonna be, oh no, girls don't do that. They're gonna be like, oh, I've done so much louder than yet. Oh, Heath is here. What should I do? Karen, I don't understand what you see in him. He's an out of work actor living in a share house. And he okay, shot to uh, move. Question to the ladies out there. Have you ever gone to the bathroom with your friends and one of them was just explosively diarrheaing in the Do you girls in the just blow that shit up and proudly flaunt it? Man, it Terry Crews, baby. That's what the Crohn's flare up looks like. <laughs> 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 Tony, hand me my boots because I'm about to go skiing. Again, talk, uh, the cat calling, it doesn't make any sense. I'm about to go skiing? What is that? Like going through white shit? I, I, don't, I don't even know. know. I don't get it. I'm confused. A white girl with a black girl's ass. <laughs> I'm taking that home to mama. <laughs> what? Shot to this cat calling? <laughs> it's both racial and makes zero sense. Because you were first on my Christmas list. Santa must have come early because you were first on my Christmas list? I think before the internet, people didn't know like the difference in good and bad pickup lines because you only heard them from your circle. And you had nothing to f*** of. Yeah, now I can look up, I can ask ChatGPT, give me a good pickup line. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say. 
Once you go black, you're gonna need a wheelchair. <laughs> I need to take a shot to that one. <laughs> oh. Okay, call me later. As I, was saying, yeah. I think this is a touch of offensive, perhaps. Look, he said King Kong. In your 1980 pickup lines, climb all the way up to the top of the Empire State Building, beat on your big old monkey chest, and then jump off. Because in the 1980s movie, King Kong jumped on the, the top of the Empire State Building and then beat his chest. I can't believe that you just said that. Okay. <laughs> This is 2004. <laughs> okay, shot to that. <laughs> I wonder if the actors ever got for that. It's not their fault. It's no, the you, you can't get for that. Oh, you're never gonna get that big old head in this tiny hole. <laughs> what oh, are the odds? No. What is she holding? Push it. Push it. It's almost. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. I feel like if I was on the end of that phone call, I probably wouldn't even believe it because it's too obvious. It's it's too much. Are we taking a shot to that? Uh-huh. You can't not take a joke uh, a shot to sex jokes. <laughs> Who laughs while they steal something? <laughs> I got it! This was back when being mean to girls meant you like them. It's Terminator. <laughs> There's no way that makeup would stay on during this. Oh. Holy dude, that was a linebacker tackle. Jeez, lady, all that for a bag? It's not just a bag. It's Prada. It's that old movie thing where instead of trying to dodge or run away, the guy just stares and screams and he gets tackled. Just takes it. Uh, hello? Where have you been all night? I've been looking all over for you. Ew. <laughs> if you ever get someone to look Dude, at you and so, just say ew. What's the worst she could say? Ew. Do you have any more of that? <laughs> well, don't hate me because you ain't me. Can I have your what? Shot. 2000. Shot to whatever 2000. 2000. That was 2000. Don't, you can't hate me because you ain't me. They don't hate us because they ain't hate us. Hate us because they ain't us. Okay. Do I hear a thousand? One thousand. Well, it looks like we're all on the Van de Gelt's list. Next to be auctioned is Tiffany Wilson. Oh no, Terry Ter Crews is gonna go f balls deep on this one. And he's rich. $20,000. I'm laying my dick on the table, you gonna take it. Cash, cash yeah. money. <laughs> hey, this is 2004, so that's like $7 million now. $50,000 in 2004 is a lot. Okay. Why would you have to say that? <laughs> it's been 20 years since this. God damn. If $20,000 was the record and someone just dunked his nuts yeah, and spent $50,000, you, you could label him as anything else that's a little bit more apparent. Like the millionaire right there. The sugar daddy right there. The ultimate sugar daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing them not dressed up and doing the voice is great. How did they find out where they live? God, this mask is terrifying. I think it's infinitely more terrifying with the contacts. Okay. He is in a really bad relationship, and it's. Are they giving them cornrows? Shot to that. Can you braid our hair? Not that tight, not that tight. <laughs> you want corn pressure or an afro? <laughs> like, okay. What she means to say, honey, is maybe I'm just, I think you might have been black in a previous life. <laughs> For shizzle my noodle. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, all right. I'm gonna go with Pat Anderson. You're disgusting. What? DJ. And this guy looks like the, the dumbass from Zoe 102. Go, go, go. This dude? Yeah. He's a sniffer. The guy in Zoe 102 who just doesn't know his own name. Except he has an excellent shot. You do that again, I'm a bus. I'm a bus what? I start in tears. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bus. I'm a bus. I start in tears. I honestly, I want to take that. If I ever get into, like a fight somewhere. <laughs> hey man, you spill a drink on me at the bar, I'm gonna bust in uh, tears. Bitch, 
Which I'm gonna bend you over and cry a little bit. <laughs> oh, here comes Terry. Mm. Uh, $1,000 says does the titty jiggle. That's his thing. That's how he got famous. Did he? He's been in shape oh, for like 50 years until later on. Oh my God. The budget of this movie I'm had to be less than 100K. <gasps> Easy, white chuck. Oh my God. It's a good line, but it's a sus line. It's a sus line. <laughs> Potato. No, that's way too big. He's like trying oh to God. fuck with it. I love this song. <laughs> I forgot this existed. Yeah, yeah. This is like one of the most iconic parts of the movie. Shot to this. And I need you. And now I miss you. <laughs> and now I want. <laughs> oh my god. I think this is what got Terry Crews on the map for a lot of movies going forward. Did this? This movie? Yeah. Oh my god, is that a hangnail? Captivated by your beauty. Ugh, I'm gonna throw up. He had a whole poem ready. Oh, fuck, that is, that's offensive. I'm sorry. Biting off your toenail and spitting it at someone is offensive. Ah, that base. Oh, uh, that, that's a shot. What? He said, I'll have the chicken show Suggesting a salad for yeah. her. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. a shot. That's a little 2000s shot. Why was she in the world of this movie? Why was she just in the house in the dark? She was oh just God, standing, that thing. She was just that standing thing. in the dark. Why are you waiting? Technically, that is her role as the housekeeper. In the real world of this movie, she was just sitting there in the dark waiting for Terry Crews to come home. That's. <laughs> he just got pink eye from her fart. He farted? <laughs> no, she farted. Oh, I guess he farted. He, he, he yes. <laughs> the white chick farted. Oh. Oh. On the table behind them is like, uh. Bask in the ambience, bro. I'm gonna steal that line. No, please don't. I scrape my knee. Get out of here. I, no, seriously, listen. Okay, how the f is this woman still on this date? She shouldn't be. She should have left as soon as she walked in and saw the <laughs> painting on the wall. Oh, oh no. God. Can you imagine? Honestly, is that another shot? That's a shot. Is it? It's a it's a shot. I feel like you can't not. Yeah, just for the context. Oh no! He's gonna pick up the panties and sniff them. Please don't sniff them. Please don't sniff them. Please don't sniff them. Please don't sniff them. Ew! That's so creepy, bro. What the hell are you doing? Sniffing chicks underwear. <laughs> He's saying it like that's fine. Like, yeah, I'm just sniffing chicks underwear, dude. Like, I want to smell where they poop. Drop a couple of these babies in a drink, man. Hey, hey, you sure this will work? Uh. And I'm telling you, I'm boinking someone tonight, you know? Boinking someone tonight. Shot. Hmm. That's. Dude, we're going to finish the bottle. This movie's. I, I didn't know we we're watching the Cosby documentary. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, put the pump tonight? Also, that, did that guy just admit to taking his own roofie? There we go, Terry. There it is. There's Terry. There's He's all glittered up. I want to see him at, like, Burning Man. Not this, he was Burning Man, you don't? Where did he get a whistle? Where'd he get everything? Where'd he get body glitter? Doesn't matter, it's Terry Crews. He probably had it on him the whole time. Is that the- It's gonna be the dude from the bar. That has to be the dude. We're on page six. Yeah. Uh -huh. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Oh, and you guess what? Guess what? They don't have any cuts on their noses anymore. Wait. Wait, we didn't go out last night. We were in the Hamptons. How could we be on the paper if we weren't no. even clone? We've been clone. It's so cheesy. I can't. I bro. like it though. I like that part. Hey, baby. He's got lipstick on. See, <laughs> nobody's in here. Oh, 
She was just watching the door. She was literally watching outside with the door shut in her face. Now, baby, I can explain. This I can explain. A, this is a tough and one. And no explanation. What you think? It's, baby, it's not. Yeah, just keep saying it's not what you think. Just grab her and say it. He's a man. Oh, no. You're sick. What? Don't you love it when I, you say, I can explain? Ah, just, it makes me want to scream. Chief, these aren't the Wilson sisters. No, sir. We would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you and your meddling dog. And you dumbass <laughs> people. How about. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, ooh. Nice. Those are nice. Ooh. You can't fake these. Is he gonna grab him by the foot? Oh no. Quick, let me get a sniff, because I'm a cultured man. The other guy was the dirty one. He's like, let me sniff the panties. I'm just sniffing girls' panties, man. Beautiful chocolate man. I don't see him. This movie kind of like skips around the plot points, you know? Just like, really quickly bypasses them. Who do we have to sleep with? For us to keep You're barking up the wrong tree. Oh, oh, wrong shit. team, buddy. Tree right I said that right before you Holy did. How did you. I didn't even know. <laughs> that's. That's. I mean, it was obvious. <laughs> Wait, you like me? Like me? Ew. Invitation, my ass. I think they might very much know that you're not supposed to be there because everyone is wearing white and you are not. <laughs> All right. So what's the theme? Um. Uh. You know those uh, troll dolls that kids used to have in two thousands? Yeah, that. That's spot on, actually. <laughs> you, you remember the hair that's just all fuzzy and top? Yeah, that. That. Come on, plot. Do the plot thing. All right, all right, what's the next theme? Um, fans, that's basically it. They're just wearing dresses and have fans. Oh, they look so similar. Oh, did they come out? Oh, shit. You know, they never clarified which is supposed to be which. Which guy is supposed to be which girl? Did they ever have definitive names? They've just been the Wilson sisters the entire time. I don't think that mattered. Cause like, was the girl like that? That let's actual do some Scooby Doo. No, that actual Wilson sister. Whatever, I, whatever I her name is. Let's let's call her Wilson sister number one. Was the guy Wilson what sister the number fuck one or two? Doing? I don't know. Dude, I, I know what you're saying, but I really don't think they've got that far. Even in the writing, they're just like, yeah, pretend to be uh, the white girls. This is where there was little plot that just falls apart entirely. The theme is now Domino's. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna, okay, I like most of this movie, but this part is cringe All right, me. the next theme is Marvels. <laughs> is this not cringe to you? It's such sh isn't the right word. It's just silly 2000s just plot. God damn, WWE. Look, Killing them. Got to <laughs> <laughs> it just drops the entire top deck. Literally <laughs> killing them? <laughs> Someone has to teach them a lesson, they just break all their legs. Where did the paint come from? They had it planted, I guess. They were standing there with the paint. I don't know, dude. It's so cheesy! Everybody, they're imposters! <gasps> okay, this is good now. This is good. Hit the lights. Hit the lights. Quick, kidnap the girls. Wrong girls. What the hell? What, what is going on? Bro, I'm so lost. It's like they didn't even try for the end of the movie yet. What was the theme to this fashion show? Mulan? I don't get it. They brought a Chinese dragon. Was this supposed to be like kidnapping? Oh See, the one guy who ran the show passed out, so I can't tell if this was actually supposed to be happening or not. This crowd is the most fair weather fans in the world. They just clap or go <gasps> whenever someone tells them to. There, it, it literally is an audience of NPCs. People walk out wearing mildly okay dresses. Clapping! People come out wearing swan dresses. Oh! People come out and fall to their death. What is Clapping. happening? There's a gun. Clapping! Oh, he's a secret agent? Hey, he punched a girl. You hit like a bitch. Just fucking tanked a chair. I know he's supposed to be tougher than a girl, but like... Mama! <laughs> Mama! Why are you doing this? Daddy didn't tell you? He's broke. <gasps> He's broke? Martha Stewart broke? Or MC Hammer broke? MC Hammer broke! Yeah. <laughs> oh my no! god! No! Not MC Hammer! So no, uh, this isn't a camera! 
You shot the cameraman! What is this? Man, that bullet went four miles an hour. What was their budget for that slum of $3? Man, we're gonna get that stain out, don't worry. We're gonna get that stain out. It's my blood. Uh -huh. I ain't what you think I am. <laughs> Baby, we all got secrets. <laughs> <laughs> the most supportive guy in the world, except for the roofie. Are you telling me that you are not? Yeah, I'm not a woman. White? The betrayal. The betrayal. FBI agent, I was uncovering a Negro, please. <laughs> <laughs> Latrell? Gina. Marcus? Uh, Wait, <laughs> just Patrick! You? You? Spider-Man meme? SpongeBob! So, who do you think wore those panties you were sniffing? Oh, God. Oh, Would you rather? Uh, so what are you laughing at, Denzel? Oh, what a beautiful chocolate man! <laughs> I, I, I love that line. It's my favorite line in this entire movie, yeah? <laughs> what a beautiful chocolate man! Hi. I'm Kevin Copeland. I'm On my biggest crime? I didn't tell you I loved you every single day. Your biggest crime is, let me explain. Uh, Wait, let me explain. I love you. Yay! I love you, girl. I ain't never gonna stop loving you, girl. Wasn't there a dildo scene? Did it get cut? There was definitely a dildo scene. What? You can't just say there was a dildo scene. I need more context. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you were in Patreon, you got to see whatever that dildo scene was that I didn't even know existed. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Did Thanks you to our patrons. Yes, you guys thank you so much. are amazing. You keep us doing what we do, and your support means the world to us. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your white chick friends. And as always, suck a cock! Let us know how drunk you got if you drank along with us. We almost finished the bottle.